Howdy folks, hope you're all having a great weekend and welcome back to Deliver Us Mars where, amongst other things, I'm actually sitting down here recording this on my birthday. Level 53 today, another seven levels and I get my epic flying mount. <laughs> I'm attempting to record this uh, with a very large and overly affectionate ginger dutch cat alternating between sitting on my keyboard and sitting on my mouse hand, so this could get interesting. <laughs> Anyway, uh, the last we heard from Ryan, he'd found some of the outward colonists back on board Ark Habitas, and he didn't sound too happy about it. What the hell happened here? Maybe we arrived too late. Maybe we didn't. We have no idea what's behind this door. No. One way to find out. Is it just me? Or is that a dead guy in the corner? I don't know. Doesn't look like he's been dead that long either. More bodies. Security drones. I hate these things. You okay? Yeah. It's been years, I'm fine. But we should turn back, it's clearly not safe. We need to find out what happened in Zadi. Without... Let's look around and see what we can find. Be careful, everyone. She was about to say we're easy targets without our guns. She still doesn't actually know what happened to the guns, does she? Although she probably suspects. But then again, we do have lasers mounted on our wrists that can cut through solid steel in seconds, so... I don't think all of these deactivated drones are going to be much of an issue. So remember, this place has been repressurized, and oh, there's something here I can. Okay, it's saying interact. It's showing me the outline, but the interact cue is greyed out. I don't get it. Am I supposed to? No, I can't get at it from this side. Tell me to look for clues as to what happened. I mean, it seems pretty bloody obvious what happened, but... There's a clue. But it, it won't let me... It turns out... Well, we're looking for three pieces of evidence in this room. And I've clearly found one, but it won't let me interact with it until the right time. <laughs> I can only really call this sloppy game design. You see, the game wants you to find each piece of evidence in the correct order. It doesn't tell you that. It just stops you from examining any evidence that you found until you find the first bit, and then the second bit, and then the third bit. I mean, there are any number of ways the developers could have done this. Just make one piece of evidence active at a time, instead of all three, and then slapping you on the wrist when you try to look at the wrong one. So here's how you're supposed to do it. So apparently, and somewhat counterintuitively, Sarah herself is the first piece of evidence. Anything you can... <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to. Anything useful on that? Its protocols are all messed up. Seems a kill switch turned it off, and likely the others too. But there's more code here. Something was altered before the kill switch was thrown. Hard to tell without doing a deep dive on the diagnostics. So, somebody messed around with the security drones. The second piece of evidence, despite the fact that I'm standing right next to him and looking at him and nothing is popping up, is Ryan. And it's only now that I'm allowed to interact with him. Look at this. Outward by the door, probably guarding the bridge. The security ASCs, MacArthur's own ASCs, are facing them, not homeward. So... They were attacking outward instead of homeward. What's Sarah's deal with security ASEs? One attacked her on the moon. It's the reason she got stuck there. During the blackout, she went to investigate the cause, and one knocked her out. That all led up to what happened with your dad, and you know the rest. Right. Now, 
I should be allowed to examine the first piece of evidence that I discovered. Naughty me for trying to do everything in the wrong order. You see what some of them are holding, Ayla? These people barricade the entrance. Why would they block their own escape? Unless... they weren't trying to escape. So were these people killed by the security ASEs? Which would make them members of Outward, MacArthur's faction. Which means that Rosa's faction, Homeward, hacked the security ASEs and made them kill MacArthur's people. So which way am I supposed to be going now? I'm going to press T, show my mission objectives. Explore the living quarters further on the other side of that door, but that door won't open. Am I supposed to climb up and find a way around? Don't know. I mean, it's it's pointing me in that direction, but that door's sealed. Well, you remember the kitchen area here, with the door that wouldn't open, and the counter that I couldn't just climb across. Did that door just open by itself? Yes, that door did just open by itself. Well, it didn't open by itself. Something opened it. Let's go find what out that? what. I know that sound. It came from over there. It's another drone. It seems like it wants to lead me somewhere. So I do have to go the long way around to get to the rest of the living quarters. But we haven't seen any other active drones here, other than the ones that we brought. What's this? It's another message. Uh, which isn't actually telling us anything, so fine, whatever. People talking about... Recycling waste. Yeah, okay, fine, I'll take the message. What do I do? Oh yeah, press F to collect. Hmm. So where's the, there it is. You just went up into the pipes. Wow, that's a lot of dead people. Drones didn't kill them. There are no knocked out security drones in here. They were all in the previous room. They never made it this far. Something else killed, well, by the look of it, everybody else. They... How does it come to this? Petechial hemorrhages. Cyanosis. They suffocated. Everyone? Yeah. Both homeward and outward. We have to leave. It's too dangerous. Too dangerous? Sarah, there's no one left. We don't know that. I mean, look what they did to each other. Sarah, please calm down. No. I mean, if there are any survivors, we, we have nothing to our defend ourselves. We, we have to go back. This is our mission commander, kids. I don't think she's up to the job. Ayla detects holograms? Yeah, I'm sure Kat was going to tell you yeah. where that. Doesn't Alex do that too? No. And I've been trying to break the Lunar Council encryption key for years. How many of these have you found? Only a couple? Yeah, that's not true, is it, Kat? Play it. What? Play it. Yeah, Kat's been keeping all kinds of information from the rest of the team. Throwing away their weapons, even though, you know, they've all got wrist-mounted lasers and... The guns Kathy, that Kat threw away that please. Sarah's freaking out over. They didn't actually need in the first place. But she's been decrypting holograms and finding all kinds of information about what happened here that she has not been sharing with the rest of the team, which... They might need to know about. 
but the information that she's been decrypting might make her precious daddy look bad, so she's been keeping it all to herself, regardless of what the cost may be to the mission. You are all delusional if you think Mars will ever be safe for us! You destroyed Oda! It's unsafe here because of you! We need to go home to Earth! We can't stay here! Earth is a lost cause! Why don't you see that? I will not die without seeing my family again! People, people, please! Enough! Fighting like cornered animals. You're all better than that. Things here haven't been easy. But it's hardship we have to endure to make outward work. It's hardship we had foreseen. Those of you who wish to return with the Arks, what do you think Earth will do with them? Who's at the front of the queue to be helped? You? Each and every one of you would be put on trial the moment your feet touch the ground. And what of the nations that don't get a say? That don't get control? What do you think they will do? They will fight, they will kill, and they will destroy. Like mindless, irrational beasts, they will destroy the Ox and each other. He's not wrong. For over 30 years, we've known that Earth has passed the point of no return. In 30 more years, its surface will be near and distinct from that of Mars. Pushing the frontier of humanity always comes with a cost. But it's a price we have to pay for a better tomorrow. We can still move forward in unison and make this work. If only we- Enough, William! We are done with your speeches. We are done being ignored. Your lofty talk of unity spits in the face of all those you've got locked up in medical. Desperate people who resorted to desperate measures. Your inaction and ignorance forced their hands. We miss our families and friends back on Earth. If our tech and our minds can help save it, we have to try. You forced us to board the Arks. You forced us to live and work in this nightmare. And now, you're forcing our hand. We will be heard, William. You will listen to us. Now, Julia. How... Rosa, what have you done? After him! Rosa for all Homewardians! Grab MacArthur and get to the bridge! Turns out Rosa's just as bad as MacArthur. We're about to do horrible, unspeakable evil things, and it's all your fault you made us do it. Oh my god. It was Homeward. They used the ASCs to fight their way to the bridge. I can't believe MacArthur pushed this to an all-out civil war. MacArthur? Yes, MacArthur. The ASCs, the attack on Odom. Rosa is just as culpable, don't you think? Rosa? You must be joking. These people have no choice. They didn't choose to be violent. MacArthur forced their hand. That doesn't mean the ends justify the means. They kind of did choose to be violent, though, didn't they? I mean, I, don't get me wrong, I can see both sides. You've got two factions here who have completely inimical goals. If one side gets what they want, the other side is screwed. But when you push people to the edge, when you give them no choice, desperate people do desperate things. That doesn't make it right. But when you put people into a situation where they feel like they have no other choice, good people will very, very easily do bad things. You know, despite my other criticisms of this game, I do feel like they've gotten this spot on. Because up until now, you've been thinking, well, Rosa's the good guy, and MacArthur's the bad guy. Well, and while coming. MacArthur is very definitely a bad guy, they've Was done a... Oh, hang on a Ace. Sec. Oh my god, it's Ace. He made it here with Dad. Oh, it's, uh, it's Isaac's drone. But anyway, yeah, getting back to the subject. Even though MacArthur is very definitely not a good guy, the game's done a good job of explaining his motivations. I mean, in his mind, he's doing what needs to be done to save the human race. It's just the methods that he's employing to do it are unspeakable. He's basically turned Mars into a forced labour camp. The thing is, though, even though he's doing bad things, Ace, he might wait. be right. How'd he get in there? 
find a way in. I mean, I say good people do bad things. I'm not trying to say MacArthur's a good person. He isn't. He's a very practical person who will do whatever he feels he needs to do in order to get shit done. Rosa, on the other hand, who up until now has been portrayed as a sympathetic character, is just as bad as MacArthur. She's having people who don't agree with her killed in order to advance her agenda. Now, you might argue that she has a more sympathetic agenda, and you probably wouldn't be wrong, but she's still killing anybody who gets in her way. Uh, yeah. I love that the game's exploring these shades of grey. What's this? Another episode of Mars Man, except this time just the script without the illustrations. It looks like Amira was a member of uh, the Outward Faction and didn't agree with the script that the writer, who was clearly a member of the Homeward Faction, was writing. More social divisions. The game is doing a very, very good job of showing this. But anyway, on with the puzzle. I need to get this door open. What's going on here? It looks like there's a spot up there I could climb up to, but... Um, can I get through here? No. What's that? It's another completely... I'm not going to say pointless, but it isn't giving me any kind of useful information. Right, so... Okay, there's a resistor on the other side of this door, but I can't get in. There is, however, a vent that I can send Ayla into. So what's this about? There's a power point and a resistor blocking the power point. Okay. But I need to get power to that. Presumably from down... Yes, there. So let's move this out of the way. I'll just stack it in the corner here, maybe. Yeah, that should do. And then get back to Cathy. So, because I saw... Oh, is that? Oh yeah, it's the thing I just looked at. Which means I've turned myself around and I'm going the wrong way. <laughs> yeah, that's the way I came. All right. Um, so let's see if there's anything else up here. Not seeing anything obvious. So I'm guessing that once I find a, an MPT transmitter, I'm going to be able to fire it up through the window and into the receiver that's now not blocked by a resistor and open that door so I can get in and recover the resistor, which I'm probably going to need for something later. Otherwise, why put it there? Next, however, or possibly first, I don't know, we'll see how it goes. Can I just jump up? I can, and it's not going to kill me. Okay, it's faster than climb down the ladders. See, there's a beam going to that door. From that splitter in that room. And it's also sending a beam through a resistor to another power point. And I can't get into the room. But there is a port in the wall that I can send Ayla through. So, I think I'm going to have to... Let's have a look. Because I can't get that splitter out of this room. But maybe... The sh I should be able to get a line of sight to that, because at the moment, that, that resistor in the next room, which I can't access, is blocking the beam from this splitter. So if I move the splitter to the side, I should be able to get a line of sight to the power receiver. It's a bit tricky navigating this with the drone. Is that the good spot? Uh, not quite. It's still going. The beam's still going through the resistor. Let's try again. Move it closer to the corner. Or as far as I can. There we go. Let's try that. There it is. So why isn't the door opening? What am I doing? I'll, I'm not actually sending any power. <laughs> the splitter's not actually powered up. Yeah. So I need to find a power transmitter. I mean, that'll work. I just 
Oh, it's in there. Well, of course it is. Except this door won't open. Oh, and there's a hologram through there as well. Okay, so I need to get... Can I climb up and jump down? Not going to be that simple, is it? No, it doesn't look like it is. Okay, so my plan was good. I just didn't have any power. <laughs> so now I need to get some power. So somehow I have to get access to that room where there's going to be a transmitter. And it's not going to be this way, that's for sure. Yeah, there's no actual power going to that door yet. Okay. So that in there. Oh, yeah, I see it on the floor. Okay, so the bolts on the floor I'm going to have to laser off to release the power transmitter. So, well, I haven't been this way before. This must be it. Oh, yep, there's a, there's a drone lock on the wall. So, Ayla, where? Oh, there you are. Sneaky bugger. Get this open. All right. I suppose we should probably decrypt the hologram first, even though I really want to get that door open. But let, let's go ahead and get this done. Well, then make him authorize it. Rosa, please stop this. This has all gone too far. Missing. This is just there the must beginning. be something else around here. Yeah, yeah, shut up for a minute, Cat. This is important. Release the prisoners. Are you not, you're not hearing the madness of it all. MacArthur cut us off from Ark Labos, not me, Isaac. Why are you even here? To parlay on behalf of our glorious leader? I came as a friend, please. Please listen to reason. I'm done listening, and I'm done talking. What about people who support Outward and want to thrive? The people you have security ASCs pointing their weapons at right now. We are leaving today, and we're taking the Arcs with us. If you want to help, go to the Panopticon and tell MacArthur to turn Labos back on. Otherwise, stay out of it. Yep, yeah, Rosa, just as bad as MacArthur. Now, you could argue that MacArthur's pushed her to this, but... Why? Why are they acting like this? What do you mean, why are they acting like this, Kate? so much together. How is this happening? They're desperate. I hope they're okay. Well, but they're not okay, are they? <laughs> they're all dead. You just saw the bodies. Although, if somebody vented the atmosphere, somebody must have been alive to repressurize the ship. So they're not all dead, or at least they weren't all dead. They might be dead now. Although, and again, I might just be reading too much into this. Got the power up anyway. Um, I wasn't seeing any kind of decomposition on the bodies. And there would be decomposition at... Re oh, hang on a second. That's now got too much power going to it. and won't Ah, that's what we need the resistors for. Okay, good. We got this. But yeah, the bodies haven't been decaying, which either suggests that I'm just reading too much into it, um... And they just use the regular character models. Oh. Right. I need this. Oh no, that's fine. That, that is good. I did do the right thing. So we need to get this resistor down to the door. And hopefully that will be enough. Uh, except it isn't. I need the other resistor as well. There's still too much power going to that receiver. What was I talking about? I keep getting the soundtrack. Where is the other resistor anyway? Oh, it's up there, isn't it? Yes, I put it in the corner to uh, clear line of sight to that, which has delivered the correct amount of power. So that door is now open. So I did need to move that first resistor. Now I need to get up there. Anyway, yes, got sidetracked again. What was I talking about? MacArthur and Rosa. Basically, they're just as bad as each other. You could... Oh, how do I get in there? Of course, the door's shut. Um, so there's too much power going to the door, so I need to use this resistor to... control the amount of power to get the door open. Ah, this is awkward. Placing these things with the drones. That should do it. That hasn't done it. Is that... Oh, it's not actually in the right spot. Okay, this will do it. I just need to position it correctly. There we go. And the door's open. 
Thank you, Ayla. Your work here is done. Here's the problem, though. The second I pick that resistor up, too much power is going to go to the receiver, and the door's going to shut. Can I um, maybe try to blag it? Let's just inch into. No, no, no. Get in there. Let's just inch into the beam. Wait for the door to fully open and leg it. Oh, that ain't going to work. Huh. So how do we get this resistor out of this room? That is a puzzle. Ayla, any ideas? You're not much used to us alive, are you, Ayla? Um, oh, hang on. I do have another resistor. How's that going to help? Because you can't get it up here, you can't exactly climb a ladder with a resistor in your hands, and then if you dump that in that room to pick up the other resistor, you're still stuck with the second resistor in the place where the first one is. Well, yeah. But, I can do this. And then I can go and pick up the first resistor, because now I'm cutting off the power at the source, rather than at the destination. I'm not sure how I'm going to get that second resistor down. <laughs> Hang on a minute. Oh yeah, there's now there's now too little power going to the receiver, so I need to send Ayla in there to move this one out of the way. What's going on? Why is that door not opening? Right, there it is. So now I've got the two resistors that I need to reduce the power going to the door that needs to be opened. How am I going to get this down? Because I can't climb a ladder carrying this thing. But there was an open spot that I jumped down earlier that should. Maybe I can drop it over the edge or maybe just jump with it. I mean the fall isn't going to kill me, it didn't earlier. Can I do that? I can do that. Sweet. Okay. We're good. So I need to plop two resistors down here. Just make sure that is actually in the way of the beam and then pick this one up because it doesn't need to be here anymore. And plop that one in the way of the beam and then go and switch the power from the uh, room upstairs to the beam splitter down here and that should get the door open. Nice. Bingo. That was a good puzzle. I like that. Oh, hang on a second. Rosa's living quarters and another hologram. I think we may be about to find out what exactly happened to Rosa. How her little revolution ended. Well, I mean, I think we know how it ended. Everybody died, didn't they? Um, well, not everybody. Somebody vented the atmosphere. Might have been Rosa, might have been MacArthur. But somebody else repressurized it afterwards. So somebody survived. Doesn't mean they're still alive now, although Kat is obviously clinging to the hope that they did, and it's going to be her dad. Isaac, are you in the Panopticon with MacArthur? Isaac, please respond. Isaac, are you still alive? I'm, I'm sorry it all came to this. Tell MacArthur to turn on Habitus. Isaac. Still doesn't tell us who vented the atmosphere, though. I mean, it's kind of looking like it was MacArthur. It probably was MacArthur. I mean, once he found out his own security drones were being used against him and killing his own people, he would... I wouldn't put it past him, but it could have been Rosa. It could have been something Rosa did that went wrong. Hell, it could have been Isaac. I mean, it wouldn't be in character, but desperate people pushed to the ends of their tether do bad things. I'm going to go with MacArthur, though. It's the kind of thing he would do if he felt like he was losing control. But we found out what happened to Rosa. She crawled into her quarters and died. Also doesn't tell us who repressurized the ship after everybody had been killed. Well, not everybody, obviously. Somebody was still alive to repressurize the ship. And my gut is going with Isaac. Not that I have any evidence to support that theory. It's just, you know, story reasons. It would make sense for the narrative.
They murdered her. Savages. <sighs> Still with Rose after all these years? Why didn't you tell us where you were going? What, and break the habits of a lifetime? <laughs> I just saw Ace and went after him. Found another hologram. MacArthur shut down Lavos to stop Rosa and Homeward from activating the launch sequence. Then, I think, he shut off the oxygen from the entire colony. You've seen Isaac in these holograms, haven't you? We're leaving. What? What? We'll restart the MPT connection to Lavos from the bridge. We're gonna prep Habitas for launch and be gone before nightfall. What about Arc Vita? Rosa is dead, Kathy. Everyone is dead, and anyone that's left is probably armed and wouldn't hesitate to kill us. But we haven't completed the mission. We are a man down, and mission critical gear that could have helped us is missing. Arc Vita may be important, but we don't know where it is, and we don't know if it's functional, and I will not risk the success of this mission on finding it. So we are leaving now. That is an order. Yes, Sarah, you're missing mission critical equipment because you chose to leave it on board the ship and take the guns with you instead. Which Kat then threw away. So. What a team. What do we do with this little guy? Ace, turn around. ASC unit 63754-N. Ownership transfer. Lunar Council override. 170544. Isaac Johansson. Say your name. Say my... Ryan Delyanin. Somebody needs to put Ryan in charge. He's the only one on this entire mission who's thinking clearly. Well, this is new. Of course, in order for that to happen, something bad would have to happen to Sarah. And even then, Kathy still wouldn't follow orders. <laughs> what a team. <laughs> Who put this mission together? <laughs> anyway. Uh, so we're leaving, are we? Yeah, we're going to see how well that works out. But we'll have to wait until the next episode, because that's it for today. I have really enjoyed this episode, actually. Uh, one thing that these developers do very, very well is story. Um, and characterization. It, it's all been really good. And I'm looking forward to more in the next episode. In the meantime, I hope you've enjoyed this one. Have yourselves a great weekend, and as always, take care, and I'll catch you next time.